Our last intermolecular force is hydrogen interactions, and this is our strongest. Um, and these are basically dipole-dipole interactions, but they are extra strong, and they only occur when there is a very large difference in electronegativity between atoms in a bond, and so much so that it creates a, a really large partial positive, a really large partial negative charge within the molecule. And these are called hydrogen interactions because these bonds that have these really large electronegativity differences are all including hydrogen because it has a really low electronegativity value of 2.1. And so the molecules that can do this type of interaction or have this type of interaction between them are going to be molecules that have either a nitrogen hydrogen bond oxygen hydrogen bond or fluorine hydrogen bond. Mm -hmm. If we think about the electronegativity differences of these, uh, nitrogen has a uh, electronegativity value of 3.0. And so this will be a 0 0.9 electronegativity difference. Oxygen hydrogen, um, oxygen is 3.5. And so that is going to be um, 1.4. And fluorine hydrogen, fluorine is at 4.0, hydrogen's 2.1, is 1 1.9. And so this is uh, kind of the top end before we start seeing a more ionic uh, bond between atoms. So these are all pretty large. Uh, and so if you look at a molecule and you're trying to assess, does it have hydrogen interactions, you're really looking for a hydrogen bonded to a nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine within the molecule somewhere. And if that exists, then the interaction exists. The bond itself to the hydrogen isn't the interaction. The interaction is this piece right here because it's in between two molecules, right? So we look within the molecule to find it, but it's then going to explain how that molecule interacts with another one. And so here you can see we have our, our partially positive end right here is going to line up. And that's always going to be on the hydrogen in these types of bonds because it is our least electronegative with the partially negative end. So in this case, the oxygen or the nitrogen or the fluorine. Specifically, it's going to be lining up with a lone pair on the oxygen or the fluorine or the nitrogen. Um, through space. Um, and so this piece right here, this is our interaction. So let's compare these ones, which of these molecules would have the strongest hydrogen interactions or which ones have them period. Um, so remember, we're looking at NH, OH, and FH bonds only. And so in our first one, we have fluorines, but they're bonded to a carbon they aren't actually bonded to a hydrogen. And so we also don't have any oxygen or nitrogen in the molecule. So there are no hydrogen bonding or no hydrogen interactions in this molecule. So in our, our second one over here on the right-hand side, we have methanol. It has an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen right here. And so this one is going to be able to interact with another molecule through hydrogen interactions. So we can imagine that the way this molecule would um, interact with another methanol molecule would be um, this hydrogen, which has the partial positive charge would have some sort of interaction. Let's draw this a little differently than a bond to an oxygen's lone pair on another methanol molecule. And the lone pairs here could interact with um, the hydrogen on a different methanol molecule. And so these are our hydrogen bonding interactions right here through space, not bonds. <laughs> um, 